So last December, on the Today Show on NBC, we had a special guest, a friend of ours, Marina Morgan. Not only does she come with a great story, a story that's just, it really motivates you to get out there and just be your all and do whatever you want to do and follow your dreams. But then she sang. Then it was, it was another story. She, was, she sounds awesome. So uh, we we're sitting here, guys, you know, let's check out Marina. So that was last December. So almost a year ago, we met her on the NBC Today Show. Today, she's back here with us to see where she is now, the day after her birthday. <laughs> Happy belated birthday, by the way. Hi, thank you so much. Marina grew up on Staten Island listening to Z100, listening to our show. And uh, I guess... You know, when you're growing up, did you dream, well, one day I'm going to have a song out and they're going to play it on Z100? Yes. I mean, I've dreamed about that since I was a little girl. So. Well, <laughs> well, guess what? Today's the day. <laughs> it is. Are you freaking out a little bit? Yes. This is amazing. This is such an incredible opportunity. I'm I'm so happy to be here. Right. Well, Aww. you know what? And I guess, uh, like my dad used to say, I'm happy to be anywhere. <laughs> I mean, because we live in this crazy world. We just don't know what life is going to bring us. We don't know, you know, if a piano is going to fall out of a window we don't yep, know absolutely if we're going to come down with lyme disease which you, which you did i did and this is something you've been living with mm-hmm. for the past um two years right i've been living with it yes now do you want do you want it to be uh thought of as as having lyme disease or living with lyme disease is it is that is that one of those weird questions about yes that? um i would say at this point in my life it's more rich living with it and learning how to um, cope with the illness and just getting on with my everyday um, like activities with the illness. Right. But um, I'm definitely improving and I do believe one day I'm going to be 100% better. But um, for right now, I'm just learning how to deal with it and live with it and be able to function. So, so some people who, who uh, contract Lyme disease, you know, they get get bitten by a tick, they get tired for a few months, and they, they're they over it. Right. it. But it affects mm-hmm. different people different ways. Yes. Your story is a lot different. Mm-hmm. What happened to you? So um, at first, I just thought I was sick. I was very tired. I couldn't get out of bed, but I was in pain all day long. And then eventually it went into my legs to the point where I couldn't walk correctly. I would It would be a struggle for me just to take a step. Um, so then that all happened. And one day I was um, sleeping and I woke up. And I lost the eyesight in my right eye. Oh, wow. Yeah, so that was really scary. So once that happened, I was like, okay, something is seriously wrong. And I was going for tests for about a year, I would say, before they finally came up with the diagnosis. Right. And so how bad did it get? It, it was really bad. Um, I actually couldn't eat and drink for a while because my esophagus would spasm, and I lost 40 pounds over a span of two months. Wow. So um, it was really, really scary. How long ago was this? Um, this was May 2016. It's amazing how, how long it takes doctors a lot of times to diagnose this because we have a friend Mm -hmm. who also had Lyme disease and it presented as severe arthritis in all of her joints. Yes. And she thought she was going crazy and it took doctors over a year to figure out what it was. They just, they just couldn't figure it out. And yes. And that's, you know, and that's one of the issues with it, especially because not all the doctors really, I guess, I not as many doctors know about it or um, they don't go, They it's, yeah, they just don't know enough about it. But it's hard because especially I lost, I would say, a lot of friends and um, just I really learned who was really there for me during this experience. Wow, so that's one of the, maybe the positives that came out of it. Absolutely, you absolutely. You learned how to figure people out. 100%. Wow, so... Well, you're not going to lose us. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, the only way you'll lose us as a friend is if you like say something offensive. Or, never, never. Whatever. Actually, if you say something offensive, we like you better. Actually, we like you better. <laughs> this must have been just extremely frightening for your mom, for your family. Yes. And uh, well, so Marina, with such a with such a very traumatic thing going on in your life, how many days do you wake up and go, you know what? I want to get through this entire day without even thinking about it. Mm-hmm. I don't even want to talk about it. I don't want to go radio, on a radio show and have someone ask me about it. <laughs> I just want to get. To, I just want to do other things in my life other than being. I don't want to be defined as the woman who has Lyme disease. Absolutely, that's. Um, you know, one of the things I'm hoping people would get will get out of my story is that you know, even though you may have a disability or you may be going through some kind of obstacle in your life, you could still push through, and that's what I'm trying to do. Is even though. Um, you know, I'm, I'm suffering with this. Um, I'm still trying to go for my dreams, and I hope, you know, people can find some inspiration in that. All right. Well, then, pardon the language, but uh, 
F Lyme disease. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let, let's move on to the, to the good stuff. Yes. Your songs, your music. Mm-hmm. So when you're a little girl, did, did your mom used to say to you, hey, you know what? You sound pretty good when you sing. Yes. I mean, and, and so people started to notice that you had this passion for music, right? Yes. And so it, 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 go back as far as you can when you were a little girl. Did you, do you remember ever saying to yourself, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life? Yes, actually, um, my cousin had just seen the show Jekyll and Hyde, and he came in singing This Is The Moment. And when I heard that song, I, I didn't even know the lyrics, but I just like ran into his arms, and I just started singing with it with him, even though I didn't know, you yeah. know any oh of the God. words. And I was just like, I love this, and this is literally what I want to do for the rest of my life. I have the same story. You must be a gay man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll look into that later. <laughs> So music, you were you were you were bitten by the music bug. You yes. caught the music disease. I did. A long time ago, which is a great disease to have. That's one to live with, right? Yes. So it, so so turn the pages forward to recently, mm-hmm. when uh, Stephen Levine said, "You know what? There's this girl I used to work with over at uh, the restaurant in Staten Island. You should hear her sing. Let's have her on the Today Show." I said, "Well, okay. Well, let's call her a record label. Let's have him sign her up." Well, there is no record label. Okay. Well, let's call her manager. Oh, okay, well, what's the manager's number? There was no manager. And I said, you know what? Let's just lie to NBC and put her on anyway. <laughs> no, we didn't, we didn't lie. We didn't lie. We didn't lie. You know, we told them your story, and they're like, oh, we have to have her on. You know? And so it, you went on. You made Kathy Lee cry. No offense, but she cries at anything. Aww, but, but this was a legitimate cry because she loved your story so much. And then you sang, and you just totally, totally bowled everyone over. Thank you. Right. And then Demi, you did a cover for Demi Lovato, and then she tweeted at you. Yes, I was in a People Magazine's uh, story, and she tweeted it out to all of her fans. Uh, I freaked out. It as was you, amazing. So as cool. you know, Demi's a good friend of ours. Yes. And I love her. I'm in love with her. <laughs> uh, she sent you this message. Can you play it? Listen yeah. to this message that Demi sent to Marina. Hey, Marina. It's me, Demi. I just wanted to let you know that I'm thinking about you, and I hope that you get better very, very soon. I'm sending you lots of love and many prayers. There you go. And then when you were on the Today Show, you sang Paralyzed, right? I did. Here, here's a piece of Paralyzed, which is actually a song about you dealing with Lyme disease. Yes. What's wrong with me? I can't breathe. And everyone loved it. If we all had one song to sing about our lives and what's holding us back, I would say, what would mine be? Big hairy man boobs. <laughs> what would yours be? I don't know, but not that. <laughs> no, but, I mean, I mean seriously, we all have that thing that we we're trying to, that yeah. obstacle we're trying to get over. Yeah. Great song. Thank you. But there's more to you than singing about Lyme disease. Yes. So I know your new single is called Nightmare. It perfect is. for Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> but what, what's Nightmare about? Um, Nightmare is just about um, past relationships that have somewhat gone bad. Um, it's going to be on my new EP that I'm releasing hopefully sometime next year. And this EP is just going to show like more about my life and more, you know, stepping away from, you know, the illness and whatnot. And I just want everybody to see who like I am and, you know, like my personality and whatnot. All right. Well, there are so many people who are banging down the door trying to get us to play their music on our on our radio station and we just we can't we just can't play everyone's song there's we have politics we have people that that pay us cash under the table no no, no we, we don't, don't. That's <laughs> illegal. we do not we have to put, have you, we, we put we put them first but since you brought since you brought uh, stuff from your dad's bakery <laughs> Scary's like, oh, you're having Marina on? You know what I love the most about her? I'm like waiting for him to say her music. Oh, no, King's Highway Bakery, man. Yeah. I wish we were having a pre-meeting with her dad when we were talking about the music. All of a sudden, I'm like, make sure you bring uh, prosciutto bread. That's all he cares about, I know. He doesn't care about you or your music. And rainbow cookies. Yes. Oh, God. So, okay. Yeah, since, you know what? since you didn't bring cash with you, Marina, <laughs> the rainbow cookies will have to do. <laughs> I'm about to world premiere your song on Z100 and all the radio stations that listen to us. Yay. Thank you. I'm so excited. <laughs> this is called Nightmare. It's Marina Morgan. Wow. Marina Morgan and Nightmare. That was pretty incredible. Thank you so much. And I'm sorry, but the whole world just heard that. <laughs> uh, it's available now wherever you buy music. I use iTunes. Mm-hmm. $1.29, you know, whatever. Great option. Uh, it's called Nightmare Marina Morgan. Now, she's going to sing live for us in just a second. We're going to take a break. You a little nervous to do that? Nah. <laughs> you, got it, you got it covered. Hey, so was there at any point they told you you may never sing again? 
not that they they never told me I was not going to sing again, but because I was having the spasm and spasms in my esophagus, it was really bad for like all the acidity to be going up and down my throat. So that was a little frightening because if that got really bad, then I could have possibly had an issue singing. Yeah, you don't want the music critics to say your music sounds acidic. Right yeah. now. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. Her music no. gives us heartburn. <laughs> Ajita. You should sing a song called Ajita. <laughs> Next well, single. Um, but look at that. You've totally beat it up. So that's good. Marina Morgan, that was Nightmare. That was recorded. Now we're going to hear her live in just a second. Yay. We'll be right back after this.